Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Mincherink. I'm with the EWD Technology Group. Today, we are going to look at uh, creating a basic report out of Sage CRM 2018 R3. Often, when we uh, work with users and we start covering the report content, they initially see the screen and really start to think, oh my gosh, this looks complex. And so, after we walk them through it and we do a couple, they start to realize, you know, it's it's really not, um, and there's a lot of uh, logic behind it. So today we're going to just create a basic prospects in Ohio company report. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously log into Sage CRM. So you should see my Sage CRM. I'm on my dashboard. At the very top, I'm going to go ahead and go to reports. And I want to go into my general reports grouping. You can add new groupings as you need to organize your reports, but for today's uh, topic, we're just really going to cover uh, using an existing grouping. I'll go ahead and click on general. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and click on new because I want to create a brand new report. So the very first thing I'm going to fill out is this name field. And the name field is what appears on the list of reports when you go and look at that list under your grouping. So here we're going to put in prospects in Ohio. Your source view, the ne very next drop down, has a lot of options in it. But typically what people are looking for, and in this case to keep it simple, we're looking for the summary views. So we're going to go ahead and choose the company summary. Notice when I choose that, now all the stuff below opens up. And so we will get to there momentarily, but uh, based on your view that you select, there could be different options that appear in the select column, et cetera. And just know that uh, we are here to help you with creating even custom views if you need uh, to pull data together for reporting that you just don't see existing currently. Next field over is the category. We started with the category or grouping of general, so it's already defaulted that, that in. We're also going to look at the rows per page. We'll go ahead and change that to 50. And really what that is is when I send that to the screen, instead of a PDF or Excel file, right, it'll show 50 rows of return data uh, and then allow paging after that. And we're going to turn on auto hyperlinking. A really neat feature with Sage CRM where if you run a report to the screen, you're able to click on, in this case, we'll see company names. We'll go ahead and click those company names and we'll see Sage CRM in the background change uh, to that company's record. All right, so we have this report details area filled out. We're going to go ahead and start selecting our columns for our report. So, like I mentioned, our source view up here changes the select columns over here that we have available. So if we change our source view to say communication summary, notice that the columns on the left here start with communication and they're communication related. Again, we're gonna focus on the company summary. So let's go ahead and switch it back to the company summary. Yes, you will have a lot of views. And so sometimes you have to take a moment and. There we go. All right, so what we want to add to this report, first off, is just the company's name, okay? And so to do that, on the left-hand side in the select column area, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and I'm going to go ahead and look for the company name. So I will keep scrolling, and I am looking for company name. Notice I have a few fields you may not have. I'll go ahead and click on company name and say add to report contents. So this clicking on this button after selecting this field added it to my report contents box here. Okay, so my report contents are the things that will appear on my report. And those are columns on the report. So column one is going to be the company's name. Okay, we would like to add a couple more columns to this. So we're going to go ahead and add the company type. Right? The type defines, is it a customer, is it a prospect, is it a vendor, right? You may have other types in there, but we want to see that on the report. 
uh, we're going to go ahead and add in the company's website, let's say, right? So we're going to go ahead and click on the website, add to report content. And then the last thing we're going to add is the company's state. So we're going to click on address state, add to report content. So now you notice there's three other boxes here. So I want to touch on each one and we'll add something to it. First is the sort on, okay? This allows us to sort the result set that we get when we execute our report. So in this case, I am going to sort on the company's name. So let's go ahead and find company name and say add to sort on. Notice I'm just clicking these buttons to add them to the appropriate box on the right hand side. Okay. As I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I want to group by something, this next box over, what is that? I'd, I'd really like to group by the account manager. So for the moment, I want to go ahead and scroll up and add account manager to my report content so I can see it on there. Then I'm going to add it to the group by as well. So now I know that it will group by account manager, sort by company name, and these are the different columns of data I would see. Okay. And then lastly, somewhat more most importantly is our search criteria okay so our search criteria is what do we want to limit this by in this case we're saying prospects in Ohio so we need to find our company type field we need to add that to the search criteria by clicking the add to search criteria and then we will scroll up because we also said prospects in Ohio so we also need to limit by the address state field, add search criteria. Okay, so we now we have a very basic start to our prospects in Ohio report. I'm going to click continue on the right hand side. Since I define search criteria, it is going to allow me to set defaults for this. So the company type that I chose, I said I want it to be prospect. And then I said I want the state to be equal to OH. These are defaults for the report. When we go to execute them, you will see that, you know, when we run it, we could change this. So it doesn't have to be prospects in Ohio only. You could just name the report prospects and it would, during the execution of the report, you could select if you want the state to be limited by which state, et cetera. I'm gonna click continue on the right-hand side. So this next screen you're gonna see, the very top is what we're really gonna focus on. And it has a lot of things underneath regarding charts and column formatting and uh, adding things together in a summary form, et cetera. But for today's little quick lesson, we're just gonna focus on uh, the, the basic settings. So this title, Prospects in Ohio, is what I want to appear on the report. And I'm going to make it appear on the report by going over to this drop box here under header settings, left content. And I'm going to click the drop down and select the report title. Okay, so that report title is going to show as prospects in Ohio. On the footer settings, on the right content, I'm going to go ahead and put a page number because I'd like it to have a page number if I ever print it. Okay. So in this very quick few minutes here, we have put together a Prospects in Ohio report. I'm going to go ahead and click the Save button on the right-hand side, and it takes me back to my list of reports. I need to locate the report that I just made. So I'll zoom in a little bit. Prospects in Ohio, there it is. And notice there's a couple options here. Okay. Important to understand is the blue triangle, that's your play button, that means I wanna run the report. The pencil is I want to edit this report, so I wanna kinda of go back through that process I just did and make some adjustments to it. And lastly, which is really nice, is the favorite checkbox. So if you click on this report as Prospects in Ohio as a favorite, okay, now if we go to the top and we go to my favorite reports, you will notice that it is in here prospects in Ohio. Okay, it's a quick and easy way to mark reports as your favorite. I'm going to go ahead and execute this report. Like I mentioned, it defaults to prospect. It defaults to equal to Ohio. I can send it to the screen up here 
Okay, so under display options, I say screen. I can go to a PDF. I can export to Excel, to a CSV. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to running the report. But I'm going to go ahead and run this to the screen. I'm going to click Go on the right hand side. Up appears the report that I just made. Okay, notice that I said return 50 records, so it's got some scrolling going on. If I maximize this, you can see there's the grouping by account manager. I can see a company name, a type, a website, a state, and who the account manager is. Okay. Now, the option we turned on called Auto Hyperlink is very effective when uh, we run reports to the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that feature since we turn it on. When I click on a company name in the background, it will take me to the company's record. So notice how the background is changing based on who I click on. So this is, can be useful when uh, trying to find out why something you see on here uh, is that way. As an example, this would be a perfect example, is I can tell by when I ran this report, no one filled in the account manager field for these records right here. Okay, so if I go to Akron MRF Synthetic Oil, notice there's no account manager. I could click change. I'm gonna go ahead and sign that to me and click save. Okay, now we've assigned an account manager. So the next time we run this report, okay, so let's go ahead and close it, make our way back to it, reports, favorite reports, find prospects in Ohio, click run, leave it to the screen, click go, up it pops, and now it's not a blink anymore. That account manager actually uh, has been defined, okay? so. It's a great way to work with your data sometimes and clean things up. Uh, we've seen other uses where you uh, make reports that help you know who to call so you can actually flip through records real fast by just clicking on them and recording a phone call, click on the next one, read about them, record the phone call, you can really turn it into a fast and effective process uh, to get a hold of people. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have further questions, please reach out to us. Uh, this is really just a very basic intro to writing reports in Sage CRM. Uh, and we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.